Cone Bone Wa, good evening, Khajiit. It is I, Loki the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 13. Yes, lucky episode 13 of Skyrim Modded Rigmore of Cyrodiil. I just wanted to give a quick shout out, as always, to uh, Michael for uh, letting me know what's going on and keeping me updated. He gave me a heads up that the volume was difficult to hear in the last episode. So I did a lot of research, fun, fun research, and discovered that, um, yeah, it's that's kind of a Skyrim thing, <laughs> apparently. I found lots of threads on Reddit and on Steam and, and other places where people were complaining about it, and all different solutions, and I tried out a couple different ones, and I found one that I think is going to be really good. We've already read her poem. Uh, so, I'll go sit in the chair, and then we can actually hear, and actually hear Rigmore. What I did was I reloaded exactly where I, I uh, started the previous episode, and just listened to the difference in her dialogue level, and I think, I think we're set. I think we're golden, I think we're good to go. So let's get moving on with episode 13, and I'll ramble about a bunch of other things like I always do. I was say, I, I don't, I didn't know if I was supposed to do anything else other than sit. <laughs> Alright, Rigmore's crying. Which makes me sad, but I have a black screen so I can't do anything. Wake up, Lizzie. So I didn't go down and console her, I just, I just took a nap in the chair. I was gonna say, please, please. Dragonborn, wake up. Quick. Ingol has started the attack. Oh, we're attacking. Alright, could we focus the camera, please? Alright. Did you hear how, how clear she sounded? That's awesome, right? So if anybody has this problem with Skyrim, uh, let me know, and I'll tell you how, uh, what I went in and changed to, uh, make it be better. Are you ready for this? I will go if you're not up to it. I'm ready. Dragonborn, about, you know, earlier. Forget it, come on, let's get started. Today we begin to take back the initiative. The garrison is mustering. What shall I say to them? kick booty you made that really really awesome speech in rigmore bruma so i think i think you'll think of something are we still good yes we're still good are you sure come here awkward hug awkward hug awkward hug <laughs> mike also told me how to fix this and i didn't do that i was like what issue at a time and fixing it seemed really complicated. So I was like, let me just do the, uh, the audio. We need to hurry, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it! It didn't even do the awkward hug animation. So I guess it's totally busted. Uh, I have some really exciting news that people that watch the series... Uh. Shh. Now you're loud, so you have to shh. Get your your Skyrimming on the chair over there. People that watch this series specifically might be excited or interested about. So GOG, GOG is one of the gaming sites like Steam, and I mean you probably know, but <laughs> in case you don't, uh, set a sale on Bethesda games. And how oh, we'll see? Hey Ren, yeah. All right, I don't know what we're actually doing though. We are supposed to be going over here, and uh, long story short, I picked up Oblivion, Game of the Year Deluxe, which has everything, which I don't have in the Xbox version that I'm playing from a million years ago. I only have Game of the Year, not Game of the Year Deluxe.
Rigmar is taking her time. And I also got Morrowind. Yes, Morrowind. Captain Grimbold, prepare to sally forth. We need to destroy the trebuchets and the gate ram and help reinforce Ingol's men. Yes, my lady. All right, you heard the Countess. Look lively. Now is our time. If we lose this city, we stand to lose everything. Our allies from Skyrim have come to our aid in our time of need. Let us not waste this moment. Time to push the enemy back into the valley, where they belong. For we are Bruma! Yeah! Yeah! Screw those valley girls. Whoa. Whoa. Are we ready? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> This is the weirdest army ever, but okay. We just... Are we Make it quick. I'm not... Trying to talk to you, bro. So we're just gonna slowly, casually walk out and fight? This is our plan? Okay. Cool. Good plan. I guess. Should I just, like, run ahead and kill everybody? We're going over there, right? That was getting kind of annoying. Follow me to victory. This is not a lot of people. I'm, I'm going the right way, right? Yeah, okay. Fireballs! Fireballs! All right. Is someone there? Let's go. Wait. Why are, why are they when soldiers fighting me? Oh wait, because they're on. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot who's on what side. Who's pushing me big time? Oh, arrows. Arrows are not cool. How do I get? How do I? How do I Come on! Enjoy your last breath. Show me what you got. Done. All right. Oh, this is what you want, I don't. Just uh, uh, taking out the archer's help. There's no escape. A help? Maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna take out the archers. Nobody else is. Or just miss completely. I'll make you pay. You'll make a fine rush, cat. What? Who? Who's? Fall down and flee today. Um. Thank you for dying. Dude, don't just stand there and let them shoot you. Grimbold. You can't beat me. You want a piece of me? Who pushed me off? Just the... die. Most awkward fight ever. All right. Now who? Now who am I killing? Now. I'll see you in pieces. Oh, wow. I'm gonna kill you. No, you're not. You don't have a chance. Not impressed. How am I missing? Die, damn you! I'm not gonna die. I can't die, as a matter of fact. Alright. Jesus. Who's shooting? I took out all the archers. Who's shooting at me now? Maybe you don't just run right into the fire guy? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I see you with command. Fuck you. Whoa. Come on. Did you guys get him at least? Just stand there and let them keep shooting you. You dug your own grave. 
Kill animation! Alright, so where is Robert's? Over here? <coughs> Excuse me. Wee. Bro, get out of the fire. What's the matter with you? Jesus. Am I getting to kill Bobby? Bobby! I'm coming for you. Bobby. He's not here. Come on. Robert's orders. Bobby, here is a chance to prove yourself. With Rigmore exiled and her guardian out of the picture, it's up to you to take Bruma and claim the city for yourself. I have availed you, my garrison, and a company of Imperial, Imperial Legionnaires make use of the catapults to place fear into the enemy while you construct trebuchets. When completed, they will be able to strike the castle, keep itself, and force a surrender. Make use of the city dungeon to house the fake noble squatters. We will deal with them later. Once we have consolidated our position of power, we can deal with them all. Don't disappoint me, son. Father. Well, pretty sure he's disappointing you because... Not only did he lose, but apparently, I guess he also ran away. Return to Mustard Point. <laughs> Alright, I, I think we did okay, I, I hope. I was a little, a little disjointed, wasn't exactly sure what, what I was supposed to be doing, so I was just trying to kill everybody. Is this the Mustard Point over here? Captain Grimbold, get the men to help reinforce the heights. Build overhanging stockades and place the archers behind them. Let's get some wooden stakes on the road. We need to make a barricade. Go back to the rear and bring the supply wagons. We'll be here as long as it takes. Get the wounded into the castle and bury the fallen. Bastards better off. I may be special, but I heard Ingle, but I don't see Ingle. here this entire time oh it's Bobby I want to kill Bobby where's Sorella where are you guys oh prisoners these hmm. are more prisoners okay I didn't even see anybody from Falk Reef when we were fighting huh? all right anyway hey Ingle what's up buddy I hate you not Ingle this guy hmm? Ingle, you captured Lewin's son. Do you realize what this means? Yeah, cut this cum sucker cowering behind some rocks away from the fighting. Bobby, you bastard. Rigmore, no. I'm gonna kill him. Go on, you little shit. Do it. Do your worst. You little gobshite. My father will piss on the lot of you peasants! I am nobility! How long do you think it will take for the houses of Cyrodiil to unite if you kill me? They will descend on this pox-ridden shithole, and all that will be left of Bruma will be a blot! A nasty black <laughs> smudge, just like fucking Kavach. Yeah! Yeah! Too soon, I Bobby, too you. soon. Sarah Bear as a hostage gives you an edge and gives us time. I suggest you let these others go, so word gets to them. Have him taken to the prison. I want him guarded around the clock. Can I beat him up a little bit at least? Stand Rigmore down. That's a very weird turn of phrase, but okay. Rigmore, stand down. It's for the best, Rigmore, you know that. This is a stroke of luck. Lewin won't dare attack us now. I'm not stupid, you know. 
We understand what's going on here. The Guardian's right. Leowen will sit his army in the valley. We hold the upper hand now. Okay. Let the others go. Okay, you skeever spawn. You heard the Countess. Haul ass. And make sure to tell him we have Sir Robert as a hostage. Ingol, did you bring Sorella? She's coming. Now we've secured the border and held the heights. It's safe for her. She'll join us shortly. Yes. Rom is with her. No way! Rom is Bobby's bodyguard? Grom barely escaped with his life. When Sir Robert was given command of the besieging forces and made general, he wanted to cut any loose ties to you. That included Grom and his little friend. You were friendly with them both, right? Of course! But how do you know Grom? Grom's one of mine. He's also an old friend of your father's. Tiny works for Malisam. You've both been spying on me? All this time? <laughs> Rigmore, that old Khajiit, Rar, Bendar, or whatever the hell his name is, wanted it that way once he knew about Robert. He rightfully didn't trust him one bit. Consider them chaperones. I don't believe it! Malasem, he wanted to make sure you were safe, as do we all. As for me, you're like a daughter to me. We have to look out for each other, right? You're special. Okay, I just want to drop it right now. If I hear any more about how special I am, or any more revelations about hidden secret bodyguards, prophecies, or any shit of that kind. <laughs> prophecies? Why is everybody looking at me? Prophecy. I'm the Dragonborn. <laughs> yeah, Rigmore's the chosen one. Or something. The chosen one? Ugh, I swear! <laughs> you two... I... Ugh. Can we just get back to the castle, okay? We can plan our next move there. Ooh! Ooh. Alright. <laughs> the Chosen One is an old wives' tale made up by drunkards and dreamers. Don't let that old rubbish get inside her head, Guardian. She needs to focus. Interject, talk to Ingle and Ruth. Okay. Um... Hey, we good, buddy? I know you're pretty upset at me. Guardian, it's dangerous. But if it bothers you, you need to ask someone who's an expert on these things. Know anybody? I could ask Freehoff. Free Freehoff. I can't say that dude's name. The old dude. <laughs> He's a scholar who knows all there is to know on the history of Tamriel. That's not what it said, but I'm going to go with it. There you go. Ask him, Free. From that guy. I'm sure there's more to this yarn. <laughs> I'm not Anything old. that sounds too good to be true usually is. There's always a catch. Is he looting the bodies too? So, so I'm not the only one that could say his name. Are you gonna chit chat as we walk up? You don't really seem like a chit chatter. So can I chit chat? So yes, I got Oblivion, which means I can do mods for Oblivion. And uh, something that's kind of interesting is I know that Oblivion's, because, you know, since I'm playing it on Xbox for 60, it's leading towards a battle for Bruma. I'm not there yet, because uh, I've been doing everything but the main storyline. Uh, <laughs> so, but I know that that's something that happens. And we just kind of did a little battle for Bruma here. So, again... There's a lot of parallels, which is why I started playing Oblivion because of this, and I wanted to... Oh, why are you going over there? You don't like the road? Yeah, you, you, you should be following me. I know where I'm going. You don't. Um, so yeah, when I'm done with it on the Xbox, I'm way too far into it, and I've been doing it with my son, playing the game... Uh, you know, with him, and he's really into the character and the story and everything. I will then find some mods for Oblivion and play Oblivion on here and do a series for it. Don't know what yet. I'll have to see what's out there and see what's interesting and test everything out like I, you know, normally do. 
And same thing with Morrowind. I haven't played Morrowind since I was like a teenager. And I did not get very far in it at all. I mainly ran around in my underwear. Are we done? We're stopping here? Is that it? Anything else to talk about? No? Is he following me? Yeah, keep... Uh, Alright, yeah, keep following me, I guess. Wait, what is this? Oh, this was not here. This is not here in Oblivion. A market trader. Very cool. Yeah, that does not exist in Oblivion. Those little stalls there. I love it. Absolutely love it. Hey, you guys should be friends. You're pretty, um... Some, you're both big dudes that like to paint it for your faces and use war hammers. Mm -hmm. I also picked up a game for two dollars, another nostalgic game uh, called Siege of Avalon. I played that like 20 years ago, and um, have fond memories of it. Probably not gonna hold up, but I might do a. I don't think I'll do a full blown series. I might just do like an episode or two, just to go back and be see what I remember or don't remember. Could be fun, but really excited about Oblivion. Really excited about Morrowind. And it's all this mod's fault. <laughs> Yay! Alright, now what? I want to see Sorella! I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing now. Talking to him, probably? Nope! All right, well, are we going, are we at that table back over here where we like to chit chat? Is that what we're doing? It looks like it. All right, I sat here last time. Was everybody staring at me? That was the chair. I didn't fart. Hey girl, let's trade. Are we, uh, any day now, Ingol? Ah, Guardian. Ingol, let's make haste and get down to business. Ingol, there are no words to express our gratitude for your help. I just want you to know. Sigurd, your problems are my problems. I would never turn my back on you. Ragnar would never forgive me. Sorella will be well cared for. And I give you my word, Ingol, on my life. I know you and the Guardian will take good care of her. She'll be in good hands. But I also want Cassius to personally take responsibility for her welfare once you meet up. He is to keep her out of harm's way, never leave her side, and is not to participate in the main battle. This is non-negotiable, and I want your word on it. Of course, you have my word. An understandable, reasonable request. It was the only way to get Anji to agree. I would advise you, Rigmore, and you too, Guardian, to keep a wide berth from Falkreath for the foreseeable future, lest you end up with an arrow in your neck. <laughs> We've received word from Cassius. Quintus is on our side. Once Cassius has prepared a base camp at the foot of the ridge, he will send word and await your arrival. You'll all cross the ridge and trek down through the highlands to the source of the Brenner River. Keeping to the south side, you'll follow the river and make your way to Quintus' headquarters. The journey is not without its dangers. Red Guard border raiders inhabit the region, so you all must be vigilant. So that old goat has become a mountain goat. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing him again. But why not just travel down the Gold Coast via Skindrad? Ah, a medium-sized party would stand out. Plus, the road to Anvil has many new Imperial Army patrols. The element of surprise is vital. We don't know the full extent of Morag Cepheus' powers. Every angle must be covered if she knows you're coming. Yeah, of course. 
The less risk to Sorella, the better. I know the Great Forest like the back of my hand. We can pass through the forest all the way to Coral without being detected. If you are seen by any patrols, it's imperative you silence them and dispose of the bodies. Keep away from the walls of Coral. Parley with the Count will only be an option if Morag Cepheus has been defeated. Also, bear in mind, we don't know what to expect once inside Table Mountain. We have no idea how powerful the Bridge of Size might be. What it might do to you if you get too close. So keep away from its radiance. Just you make sure you've cleared the way before Sorella enters the chamber. One shot is all she needs, so make it count. Then get her the hell out of there. Understood. Just be careful, all of you. Remember, Sorella is only a child. Oh, Sorella! Look at her! Hey, Dad. Hey there, kiddo. Come and sit down next to me. You remember everyone here, don't you? Brickmore still looks the same. <laughs> My, how you've grown. You're such a big girl now. Hi, Sigan. I've missed everyone so much. By the way, Mom says hi. It's so cool to see you all again. It's so good to see you again, Sorella. I'm just sorry it has to be under these... circumstances. That's okay. I knew this was coming. They're waiting for me. Who is waiting for you, child? The children. The children in the glass house. Did these children what? speak to you somehow? What did they say? You're Freethoff, aren't you? How could you possibly know that? Sophia? Now then, my child, please, don't play games. What? How? You had better sit down, Freethoff. I've got a message for you, from Sophia. What is it she wants to tell me, child? She said to tell you not to blame yourself. It wasn't your fault, and she misses you. Vryathoth! <laughs> what kind of sorcery is this? She knows you never gave up looking for her. And she said not to be sad anymore. Sophia! <laughs> Thanks for breaking the old man. Jesus. She's happy and is going home soon. They're all waiting for her. Freyathoth, do you want to retire? I'll help you to your room. No. No. I just want to sit a while. Then everyone, please excuse me. I have heard enough. Sorella, if you need anything, do not hesitate to ask. Hey, Dragonborn. I've still got your bow. Look. And the ring you gave me. Hey, Sorella. This is really weird. You, you're, like, creepy now. Um, am I talking to you, I guess? Sorella, I'm sorry you're mixed up in all this, but I have to ask, Sophia? How? I don't know, she's got the whole wolf thing going on, and now now uh, she's talking to dead kids, I guess. I took the ring off about a year ago. The voices had stopped, but when I was dreaming, Xenia came and took me to the glass house. Does Xenia live there too? In the glass house? No, Xenia doesn't live there. She's a free spirit. I have seen the glass house. 
Sophia is there with all the other children. I know what to do. You're a very brave girl, Sorella. Um, yeah. Try telling that to my mom. <laughs> Let us reinforce our positions here and await word for Cassius. Then we can begin. I also expect some kind of response from the enemy once they realize we have Leowin's son. Come, Caris, it has been a very long day. I need to return to the encampment at the road. Get to work on those positions. Grom and Tiny will be guarding Sorella. Does she have a room already? Sorella can stay with me. That's all I need to know. Grom, Tiny, keep watch outside Rigmore's room. Hey, Sorella! Didn't you look after me once? Well, now it's my turn. You can stay with me in my room. We have so much to catch up on. Hey! That would be cool, Rigmore. Good night, Dragonborn. Oh, and I still have the pony. <laughs> Very Good cool. Night, Dragonborn. All right, so what am I supposed to do now? It's me and the old man. What's this? What kind of deal is this? All right. Hey, Gramps. You okay, buddy? Did you poop yourself? Yeah, your name. His name. That. <laughs> I need to ask you about something. No. I'm too upset for talking right now. Please. Sophia would... Why? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to use your dead daughter against you to get you to do what I want. Sophia wouldn't want you to be this way. I need your counsel. No. No, you're right. What is it you want to ask? Do you know about the prophecy of the Chosen Queen of Tamriel? Huh. You've come to the right man. Yes. The Chosen Queen of Tamriel isn't written in parchment, but rather passed down by word of mouth by elder scholars and scribes. It all comes from hearsay, mostly, and isn't officially sanctioned. Now, then let me see. When Akatosh failed to save the beast races from the persecution of men, Al-Esh cursed the land. Tamriel would never have peace and prosperity until all her children were returned to her. Don't stop talking. Um, please keep going. You mean the Minotaur, right? The Minotaur have been extinct for centuries. Even if there were credence in the fable, there would be peace already. You could have thought so before all that has come to pass recently. But yet again, we are locked in perpetual struggle, as you can see. What if I told you I was in the presence of the last surviving Minotaur, and then I murdered it to death? What? That's, that's impossible. That... <laughs> His name was Lord Morbel Harza, the last living Minotaur. I was trapped with him in a labyrinth underneath the citadel. By the Nine Divines. What came to pass? How? He told me of the prophecy of Alesh and begged me to release him. So you slew him? It was the only way for both of us to be free, but he said his death would signal the coming of the Chosen Queen. So you think Rigmore is the Chosen Queen? It sounds all so contrived, I know, but... There's too many coincidences for it not to be. Well, she is certainly poised for greatness, especially with her royal bloodline. 
Also, Azura's protection, Boethia's interference, and other weird stuff on the uh, on the Lost Islands. I need answers. I need the truth. Daedra have a talent for playing with people's minds and lives. Why do you think this ties into the prophecy? It's not just a Daedra, but also divine intervention. This Alesh. Alesh, mother of all mortals. Another name for Alessia. It was she cursed the land. Now do you see why I think Rigmore could be the chosen one? It's not Neo, it's Rigmore. Not chosen one, my friend. That is something completely different. How do you mean? Yeah, now I'm confused. The Alessian prophecy speaks of the chosen queen of Tamriel. And Rigmore could indeed be her. It would explain the keen interest by Daedra, and gods even, ever since she was born. And her bloodline to a royal dynasty helps make that theory credible. But the Chosen One, as written in the Elder Scrolls, is half-beast. So I am afraid that Rigmore is not the Chosen One. In fact, when you put two and two together, you should now begin to see your own destiny entwined with that of Rigmore. <laughs> I think it's very clear what he's trying to say, but what the hell are you trying to say, Free off, Free 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 the Thoth? Free off? I think that's how they say it. Free a thoth. Free a thoth. All right. The queen chosen to deliver the one. A child of royal blood and dragon child. This is absurd! No, that's impossible! I feel sick in my stomach. Um... Sure. May I interject and ask you a very personal question? Yes, my fur is very soft. No, you may not pet me. <laughs> Go ahead, Free off. I've come this far. Ask me anything. I have noticed Rigmore is very fond of you. Have you two had relations? <laughs> Straight Freeth off out. Listen, you pervy old man. Freeth off, you're treading a very thin. I said, ask anything. He's just looking for some wank material later, I guess. I know. Freeth off, you're treading a very fine line here. The last dragonborn. A half beast, half human. The Minotaur Lord spared you because that too is in the prophecy, isn't it? That only a half-beast brother, or sister in your case, could release the curse. Do you now see why I had to ask you about all this? You love Rigmore, don't you? It's all right. I have no qualms about you and she being as one. I assure you of my confidentiality and trust in this matter. I love Rigmore with all of my heart. That, my friend, is all too obvious. Most ignore it as a fad, but I see through it as through a clear crystal glass. There's nothing more I would like than to see Rigmore happy. Even Sigun is not, how shall we say it, too uncomfortable with the notion of you being together. Sigun would be okay with us as a couple? Booyah! Sigun thinks the world of you. How could she not, after everything you have done for her and Rigmore? Know this, if you asked for her blessing, I am sure it would be forthcoming. But my friend, there comes with it a heavy price. What do you mean? You could never marry her. Well, actually you could. On the surface, it would appear normal. Already your titles allow it. But you could never have children, unfortunately. 
<laughs> That's pretty <laughs> obvious for you, though. Of course we could not have children. I mean, you know, I don't think we have any in vitro or eggs transplanting happening in uh, Skyrim. The gods have their ways, Dragonborn. Do not underestimate the power of the gods to get what they want. Hmm. It would be impossible, even for the really, even for the gods. You don't think they could make one of us pregnant? Have you not said yourself you have seen things no other has seen? Even the Daedric can have dual genders. Not forgetting sorcery. Nothing is impossible and beyond what can be imagined. And what if? What if she became with child? Our child? Bearing a dragon child would... <clears throat> Rigmore would be destined to die in childbirth. Oh. So the chosen queen of Tamriel isn't a prophecy for good at all, but a curse. Her body a vessel to be discarded, sacrificed for the whim of the gods, bearing them their chosen one. And I am the fool, the catalyst to be discarded also, the killer who would go on to kill the very one she loved the most. It's almost as if the cruelty of the gods knows no bounds. There must be a way, Freethoff. There must! Apart from Alessia, every woman who ever tried to bring into the world a half-human, half-beast child has perished. None has ever survived, not even your... <clears throat> Forgive me, I, I have spoken too much already. I am so sorry, Dragonborn, truly I am. However, I must retire. It's been a very long day. Well, Maybe you should try finding solace at the cathedral. Ask the priest within about what we've spoken of. It may help you find what you're looking for. Okay. That was a hell of a conversation. Some deep stuff there. I don't even uh I'm gonna I'm gonna ruminate on that information for a little bit. Hey ladies. Hmm? I I don't know. I'm just confused why you guys are standing here. Oh, did you need something? Wow, your voice doesn't match you at all. You guys sisters? Maybe? I don't I don't know. Alright, let's go to church. Oh, such a little jump. That's such a little jump. I'm so used to my my big jumps in Oblivion. Uh Okay, he's broken. How about you? He was like, I got nothing to say. <laughs> okay. So we could get married. And, uh, Freothoff thinks that Sagona would be cool with that, but no, no kittens. We can't have any kittens. Or puppies, but that'd be pretty weird. Or, or baby dragons. I don't know what a baby dragon would be called. Baby dragons. Baby dragon. Who killed a chicken? murder I think I already knew about that chicken Are you guys stand out here all night what do you got what do you sell yes oh a bit of this and a bit of that thank you kind sir all right a bit of this and a bit of that what do you got I'm not even looking to buy anything I'm just curious all right then all right I still I think it's cool can I steal this stuff apparently yeah, they, they don't care about stealing and where's more Cyrodiil? Cathedral of Akatosh. Akatosh sounds like a type of apple. Like a... Please sit and be... <laughs> what? Listen, I'm in these places all the time in Oblivion, and I just kind of, like, jump around a lot like this, and run over and set off all these things, and they go... Alright, but fine, I'll sit and be patient. Wait, where's the downstairs? <gasps> they didn't... They didn't put the undercroft in the downstairs part. That's wild. Okay. 
Yep. When your strength fails you, trust in the Nine. I sense you carry a heavy burden, my child. Is this a gray beard? You look like a gray beard. Let Lord Akatosh help carry the load, if only for a short while. Is he trying to sit on me? Oh. <laughs> I thought he was trying to sit on me. Your hands clipping through your cloak there, buckaroo. Um, so I guess Talos is gone again. So it's not, or it looks like Talos is over there because nine are supposed to become the ten or whatever. I did the Knights of the Nine quest in Oblivion. Anyway, I'm looking for answers. The light will always find a way into every aspect of the dark. Tell me what is troubling you, my child. Speak freely, as this is a place of sanctuary, a house of truth. House of a Thousand Corpses? I want to have kitten dragons with Rigmore, but apparently if that happens, she dies. Someone close to me might be in danger, someone I've always protected and guarded. Now you fear that you might be the one who places them in danger. Her firstborn will be her last. A half-beast. That's not entirely true. Being dragonborn does not make you half-beasts. Becoming dragonborn is a gift bestowed from Akatosh, not a divine birthright. As I understand it, there has never been a dragon child born to a mortal, where I assume the gift of Akatosh is already bestowed from divine lineage. How can I be sure it would not kill her? Yeah, I mean, this 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 whole conversation would make more sense if I was a boy. So, because again, we're just assuming that like somehow like the gods are just gonna like immaculate conception her into being pregnant. How can you be sure it would not save her? My mother's love for me did not save her. Your mother's love is with you always. She looks down upon you from the heavens and is pleased with her daughter. All you have to do is look to her and ask what it is you want. And it shall be so. Everything points to a destiny not of our choosing, with no way out. A weary traveler carries a heavy burden and comes upon a fork in the road. There are many untrodden paths, but they can only choose one. They know not where the paths lead, but they will arrive at the same destination. <laughs> Way to speak in there in riddles, buckaroo. What are you trying to tell me here? There is always a way out. This is a hallowed place, and the divines are listening. Ask them what it is you wish for, in the hope that it shall be forthcoming. All I ask is that no harm comes to her. Mother and child shall be blessed. Go forth and fulfill your destiny. Knowing that you, too, are blessed also. This is so crazy. How can it even be a thing? How could it even work? Have faith and trust in the Nine. She will need to know the truth. Both of you must decide as one. If your love for each other is true, and the bond between you unbreakable, anything is possible. This is a heck of a love story. Father, why am I bestowed with the heaviest of burdens? When you carry the load of others as well as your own, the Nine shall help carry your burden. Is that it? Be reassured that they look upon you always and are proud of their daughter and are well pleased. He's gonna go over there and disappear, isn't he? Talk to the priest, return to your room and keep. Alright, but he's not gonna be over here. 
and then I'm gonna talk to this dude, and he's gonna be like, who, who are you talking about? Well met. How can I help you? Are you looking for counsel? Yeah, here we go. I'm calling it. Thank you, Father. I've just spoken to the other priest, and he's gonna go, there is no other priest. What other priest? Yeah, told it's you! It's only me here. So who was, who was Santa Claus I was talking to then? Was it Julianos? Was it Stendar? Was it Arke? Debella? Akatosh himself? Tacos? <laughs> it totally looks like it says <laughs> tacos. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Khajiit. Taolos. Was it Taolos? Zenithar? Mara? Kinnereth? No Azura. Azura is not one of the. I, I, I'm not good at. I'm not good at this. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm terrible at knowing which which which. Azura is a, a danger one, I guess. All right. So you. All right. You got nothing else to say to me. All right. So Santa Claus came and told me go ahead and have kids. But I don't know who Santa Claus was. So I don't know if I can trust him or not. Yes? What's up, Matthias? Why are you just standing there? A little weird, buddy. Do, 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 do. Azura! Tell me tell me what tell me what's up. Do we have kittens? The kittens are cool. Kitten kitten dragons? Drittens. All right, so where, I don't even remember where my room is. I was supposed to go to my room. <laughs> I don't remember where my room is. Where is my room? Uh, was it like over here? I think. Maybe. I'm going. Up, I, and then upstairs. This one, I think. Yeah. All right, I did remember. Somebody left me a note. This is so dark over here. All right, what's my note? Who left me a note? The dragon and the bear. Okay, so Rigmore's obviously the bear, and I'm obviously the dragon. The snow blankets itself around us. The bitter wind chills me with one gust. Blood stains red. Those that hurt me, dead. The dragonborn, my guardian and protector, my one anchor, the one who was always there, the dragon and the bear. Woe to those who cross the dragon's eyes, suffer and die. Shadow and the hunt lie within. Only I see what lies within. Calloused hands gently hold. Kind whispers amongst the cold. Beneath the dirt, to the divines I thank thee above. For this is love. Oh, Rigmar, you're making me melt. How sweet. The bowl. And the bear. Alright, so what am I doing now? Sleeping? Oh. Late night caller. Her eyes are closed. What? Oh, there you go. Your eyes were broken there for a minute. What's up, girl? Rigmore. Hey. I thought you were catching up with Sorella. Aw. She fell asleep. Bless her little heart. Grom and Tiny are watching her. I wanted to come see you. 
come on in. Grom and Tiny watching a little girl sleep is 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 a little is a little, a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. You got my poem. I Do you did. like it? I love it. The, po the poem was actually kind of quiet though, which is weird because I think the voices are on point this episode, but the. Uh, poem was kind of quiet. I mean, it wasn't, it was, it was audible, but it was quiet compared to her just talking normal. Rigmore, I love it. There, this is the one about me and Mr. Bear, isn't it? <laughs> I, I wrote this after what you said the other day, and I want you to know that I will never doubt you again. You were in a dark place, and I meant everything I said. Dragonborn, you still love me, don't you? Of course, why do you ask? I know I am so annoying, and I keep asking you and telling you, but since Bobby betrayed me and called me all those things, and because of my nature, I need to be constantly reassured. Don't ask me why. I can't even explain it myself. Rigmore? Yes, I still love you. I have never stopped loving you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say sorry one more time or we're going to have serious problems, Missy. <laughs> I... Ah, ah! Dragonborn, there's something else. Uh-oh. Don't be angry with me. What is it? Come on, spit it out. I want to see Bobby. <laughs> you think that's a good idea? I need to know why. It's been playing on my mind, and I need to end this. I trusted him. I even thought I loved him. I know it's not what you want to hear, but I need to hear it for myself. I hope you understand. Will you come with me? I really want to kill Bobby, but I, I know I understand why we can't. I understand, of course. I'll come with you. I'll never understand what goes on that head of yours most of the time, but I'll come with you. Yeah, I'm not. That's. I'm gonna be nice. Thank you. Rigmore, there's also something we need to talk about. How do you feel about kittens? What? What is it? Let's get this booby thing out of the way first. Okay. Take Rigmore down to Paradise City. All right, Castle Dungeon, let's go. Let's do it! I'm kind of acting like I know where the Castle Dungeon is, and I don't. Is it straight? Maybe. Guardhouse. Guard. Those are both guardhouses. Where's the dungeon? Sorry, Rigmore. I, I don't know the layout of your castle. You should be leading the way. Completed. Take Rigmore down to the castle and talk to Captain Grimble. Broomagate. Broom. Okay. We're not going there. What's up, Grimbold? I saw you get hit with like a million arrows out there. Are you alright, bro? Hmm? Captain, have the prisoner ready for an audience with the Countess. Right away, Mom. Stop calling me Mom. Alright, Rigmore. Whatever he says, keep your composure and don't let him mess with your head, okay? Okay. Yeah. Look lively. You've got okay. Answers. Yep. This is not going to go well, is it? <clears throat> Anything good in here? Tomatoes. Can we throw tomatoes at him? That might be fun. You come to gloat? Then go ahead. And gloat!
No, Bobby. I... I came to ask why. Why? Surely it's so very obvious why. But then again, you never were very bright, were you? What happened to you, Bobby? This isn't the person I once knew. Come on, Rigmore! Open your eyes and wake up! This is the real world. A cruel, heartless existence where power is held by those that can kill without mercy. Ask your friend. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next you'll be telling me that we had something, that we loved each other. We did. We did have something. And I did love you. You're pathetic. You were there to be used, as I was there to be used when you accepted my hand in marriage, you little hypocrite. Standing here all hurt. When you were prepared to use me to buy yourself time. No! That's not true. I never wanted to use you, or hurt you. Trouble is, you never understood the game. You should have been killed in that fire. But Mirag Sethius had to go and fuck it all up for whatever reason. She had it all. You, in a boat on the way to Roskria. And your guardian play-acting the tough protector. Ain't that right, Dragonborn? Shut your filthy mouth! You could have had it all, Rigmore. Marrying me would have solved all your problems. I would have made it a quick, painless death. Let's face it, that's gotta be better than being a bird on a wire for the rest of your life. What do you mean? You know, like a sparrow tethered to a post that tries so desperately to be free, to fly away. But only ends up beating itself to death into a bloody fucking mess! You're disgusting! That's it, run! Run away, you little skank! It's all you're good for! The best place for her is a long, long way away from me, Dragonborn. I am scum, and deserve everything that's coming my way, and I don't give a fuck. Okay, um... Can we chill out a little bit on F-bombs, please? So, don't get my video restricted, thanks. It was a mistake to bring her down here. What do you care? The reason you're still alive is because I care. Whether it be freedom, death, that's the price we pay for the game we play. It's all about the game and how you play it? I mean, this is a game you cannot win. I don't pretend to not know what will happen to me if we lose the war. But you had better hope we don't win it. Because for what it's worth, if she were in my place now, she'd better hope it was me standing where you are. And not that... Bitch, Marag Sethius, if you catch my drift. Why would you care what happens to her? You just make sure she disappears. For good. I won't let it come to that. If we lose, when the time comes, all I ask is that you make it quick. So, like, set you on fire? Because I think I think I'll set you on fire. I'm gonna I'm gonna think have a think about it and plan how I'm gonna murder you to death. Where'd Rigmore go? So her poem made me think of the bull and the bear from uh like seriously, where did she go? From Fall New Vegas, and I can't see again. Away. Uh, you, hey, you okay? He's right, you know, about the bird on a wire. Sorry, I'm gonna set him on fire. 
Uh, not for much longer. Dragonborn, I'm so scared. Rigmore, it's okay to be scared. We've been here before, haven't we? Yes, we've been here before. I wish I could stay with you tonight. Me too. You know, when this is all over, we can get married, have children, live normal lives. You do still want to get married, don't you? Yeah, of course. You don't sound too sure. <laughs> I haven't said anything wrong, have I? No, everything is fine. Did she actually hear me? Is that what happened? What was it you wanted to talk about? Uh, really, it's nothing important. Okay, it's important. It can wait, though. I mean, the whole Bobby thing ruined everything. Are you sure? No. I'm always sure. Now go, forget about that loser and sleep it off. Good night, Dragonborn. Grab a well-deserved sleep in your room. Alright, let's put the torch away. Okay. I'm gonna beat you. What's up? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Like I could just walk in her room. She doesn't have any guards. Sagun doesn't have any guards. Where's uh where's the other guy? What do we got here? Bleeding scars. Bleeding scars. Red drips from my back. Laughter from those who attack. They jeer. They sneer in my head. I am at home in my bed. Mother reads to me from a book. One memory that they never took. I can't remember the name. Matters not all the same. They shaved off my hair. Made me lay bare. It's the same every night. I continue to fight. I hear voices but don't care. The pain is mine to bear. Hmm. And it ended with bear. Very interesting. Alright, so I'm just stealing her poetry at this point. Why am I... It sounds like I'm clomping around like a horse or something. Alright. Cool. Well, we had a lot. We had a big battle. And an amazing conversation where Freeth off. And then Santa Claus, the Greybeard, came and told us that it should be okay for us to have kittens. Whoo! This was a lot. This is a lot to unpack. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set Bobby on fire the first chance I get. With all that being said, if you made it with me this far into the video, I greatly appreciate it. I bid you adieu. Goodbye and a good night, Khajiits. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.